Hello everyone, welcome to Dan Light the Abro. I lost who? My channel. Second video of today. And there's a plane going to go by. Cool. I haven't heard anything like that for a while. I'm hearing cars and buses and bang, dinging of uh, bikes and weird sounds of the and, uh, tires and spokes and squealing wheels and honking horns and people yelling and parties next door and <laughs> yeah I haven't heard a plane for a long time but the cars are going to to yeah the cars are going to actually go over that and between that and what's happening behind here too far point flutes Lee and Natalie Nix from St. Louis and everybody Cody far point flutes look it up if I don't have it in the description just yet check back uh, videos uh, 800s 900s Thousands. You should have uh, all them on there. Um, so I don't know what was I really talking about except for clothing and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know. Let's look. Let's, let's talk about styles of clothes and the clothing I used to wear. Um. Oh yeah, young boy and. Uh, you know, toddler young boy, I remember corduroy days, the, the pea green jeans and the blue, the purples, the purples, it was like navy blues, purples. And busting the zippers many times. Um, weird shoes, striped shirts. Um, the, the, uh, the, Kinds that you kind of button up a little bit here, more of some weird shirts and other kind of shirts, long sleeve shirts too, with uh, stripes. And then around, uh, you know, different times, you know, wearing different kinds of shorts and t shirts and stuff like that, different kinds of shorts. Um, teenage times was me and the weird hairstyle like I did these in the spiky front and a little bit longer hair that was in time you know kind of weird but and then there was shorts like cut off shorts was the in thing too and there was cut off shorts that would have different uh, cut off lengths I ruined like three different pairs of you know, short hair jeans but that was the in thing and then I did it as a little step I did uh, bleach lines I did some bleach lines here and there kind of like a, a tiger effect and then there's ones I did I did uh, white spots little bleach white spots because it was blue jeans dark blue jeans and some were light blue jeans but still we're in my jeans and then uh, started with just normal blue jeans after that and jean jacket and then again somebody was doing artist work on a jean jacket I had that jean jacket since a long time too I do not know where that jacket went it didn't tell, it didn't dawn on me until, well, actually it did dawn on me, I think around 12, it was like 12 or 13, my dad was working at the, um, he was working at the auto body shop and a little bit at the, the wrecking yard. And I befriended some people down the street from that and I would get a drive there and then, you know, friends and I get dropped up there and hung out so that and it was a biker club and it was uh I can't remember I, I, I know I don't think it was Hell's Angels it could have been Saint's Choice no I don't think it was either one of those but anyway I hang over there with friends and we wrestled and you know I got the, the nickname Slippery Dog because I was always sweaty, <laughs> and the kids, the, the kids could get on me to wrestle me down, or you know, get me down, and I would slip out of their hands and stuff, and, and have a little bit of fun. That little clubhouse is long gone now. It's been uh, gone a long, long time, and I got a jean jacket done. I think it was around uh, around number twelve. We got a jean jacket done with uh, us artistry work, but it didn't dawn on me until like eighteen. 18, 17 or 18, when I very f I met my um, my uncle, Wild Bill. He was in the Hells Angels. And on the back of the jacket was a, like a symbol, really close to the Hells Angels symbol. 
So I had that jean jacket and tell the time to show them and say, oh, that's really good work because it has some good wings and then the skull there and a different, the different colors and stuff. He said, it's really close to Hell's Hell Angel, Angel's uh, work. He said, somebody did some really good art, artwork on that. And I had that jean jacket for, I don't know, I think it was until 22, I think. 2022. And I, I don't know, it disappeared. I didn't see it for such a long time. I think somebody left it out of my closet and, you know, took it. Um, it would be nice to see that jacket again. I know I've been built to fit it because I'm such a fat piece of crap right now. Uh, I, I don't think I could fit it now. Like the, the uh, high school days, before high school days, it was like 140 pounds. And it's there actually early, you know, 120, 125, 140, but 140, 145 all through high school and until I was like 23 and then gained a little bit and then um, at 30 I gained a little, little more and I gained a lot after that and then being in depression and stuff like that. But uh... It on that um so that's my styles of clothing and stuff and showed you after jean jacket times it was leather jacket the leather jacket was in thing um i think the, the jean jacket thing was around 11 or 12 till about 14 15 then leather jacket times between 15 and uh, 18 that i do remember I, I was trying to wear this long trench coat i mean that's a lot that was a lot of leather in that trench coat and I was like this much off the ground because I was not, I'm not that tall, not really tall. And it was like this much off. And so if I'm walking the grooves of the mud down the laneway, it would like scrape on the side and I had to clean that. And I always had to protect that from the weather and stuff. And so it's such a lot of work. Uh, somebody paid like $600 for it at that time. I was going to buy it off them for $200. I gave them 100 bucks. They changed their mind because of blah, blah. And I was thinking in my head like, if I had $200, I'd just pay them like a no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't sell it back to them. Even if he offered me an extra $100, because after a while, it, you know, it gets, it gets softer and softer and stuff like that, and my dad could do, use drums with that, make drums, I could do dream catches with it, you know, because it was long, it was it was long sleeve, it was long sleeve trench coat, it was, I've never ever owned one until that time, and I had it for maybe like five days at the most, and I wore it maybe twice. But the person, I don't know how long they wore it that much, but they won $100, but they ended up, you know, changing their mind because they paid $600 for it. And then I got other leather jackets. So I got one other leather jacket before that, um, I think it was 18. I was really skinny at that time. It could fit into a, um, a motorbike leather jacket with the, you know, the, the big belt that goes across there and the big giant zipper and some other little fastens here and there. And it was like a big zipper and a thing there too. And I wore that when I was uh, riding my um, my moped, not moped. Yeah, it was a moped. Actually, it was the electric moped. And if I ran out of, I ran out of gas, I would just pedal my butt around. And I got used to that with all that weight. So then shortly after that was... Um, bomber jacket? Yes, bomber jacket. I was... Uh, kind of like a, the high school football days that you would see in the 90s, early 90s, and they got the say this is red, and then white sleeves, and the high collar, the snappy buttons, and the the, the team of uh, your choice on the back. I had one of those. I had two different ones. Actually, no, I had three. I'm gonna say names too, because you guys, so you guys know, I had San Fran, I had um, uh, the Raiders. And I also had one with a giant eight ball and the different pool things, but the eight ball was was um, it was kind of protruding out just a, just a tad, like about that much. And I loved that jacket; it was nice. And then after that, it was just just hoodies, hoodies, and I don't know. I think I had some kind of weather. I like had some normal winter jacket and stuff, but mostly it's been just hoodies now. Ever since twenty five. Yeah, but 25, they just, just hoodies. It's usually just a zip up hoodies, and then it became the pullover hoodies, and then back to zip up hoodies. So that's my style. And, you know, jeans. Oh man, jeans. 
around 16, I used to love my my good style or good pair of jeans, and I was lucky to be owning like four of them at the time. And by the time I think 16 or 8, 16, 17, 18, right around there, there was this place that sell some nice rugged jeans for a fair price. And it was the first I've ever had Buttonfly. Buttonfly was in thing when I was 18 to 23, I guess, 18 to 23. And I had Buttonfly jeans that I wear off and on because I had two. But one just got too worn out with the the, the crotch area it got worn out and it, they were black black they were black black like really dark black and they became like a lighter gray button fly jeans were the end thing i liked them and nobody else had button fly jeans even when i was 25 30. i think those the last two the second last one, no, 25 to 30, I was still wearing off and on. I think 35 is when I gave up my last pair of butterfly jeans. Yeah, those are good, they were, they were good. I, I, if, if I had the uh, talent for that, I would do that to all my jeans. Oh man, a butterfly mom. Because it's, it's just uh, either comfortableness or the style that it was. It got a little bit baggier and loose fitting. Okay, loose fitting. Then later it became baggy. Then there was one extra baggy, and there's jeans I got off of a friend that they sold me for pretty cheap. And there was like really extra baggy. They call them elephant jeans. And there was enough jeans to probably jean probably four people that could wear them. And I was like, wow, I'm at the end of this video. So if you guys like this video, please do hit the like button. Please. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure this video and channel might be a few more for me. Please do tell your friend and family about me. Thank you for this video time you guys watched it. Hope you all have a nice day, more night. And remember, it's better to be Aboriginal than original.